Hey, happy Easter and welcome to Little Village. We are so glad that you've decided to join us today to celebrate the happiest Sunday of the year. I hope that you're having a great time with your family. Maybe some of you are coloring some eggs. Maybe you've gone on an Easter egg hunt. Maybe you're going to have a special meal with your family later. I know I've got a chocolate bunny at home that I can't wait to get to. Those are all super fun ways to celebrate Easter, but today we're going to talk about why we celebrate Easter. Let's pray together and then we can get into our story. Pray with me. Jesus, we love you and we love celebrating who you are and what your life, death, and resurrection mean for our lives. Thank you for this time that we get to be together. Even though we are physically distant, we know that you are with us always. We thank you for being a loving God that always takes care of us. We hope that all of our family and our friends experience you in a new and meaningful way today. In your name we pray, amen. Before we talk about what happened on Easter, we have to talk about what happened before Easter. Take a look at this. The religious leaders told the governor, Pilate, that Jesus was dangerous and wanted to be king. Pilate asked Jesus, is this true? I am king, Jesus answered but not of this world. Jesus is innocent, said Pilate. There's no reason to kill him. I will set him free. But the crowd shouted, Kill him! So Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus. They forced a thorny crown on his head. Then they laid a wooden cross on his back and led him up a hill. There on that hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, hands and feet. Then they raised it high. Jesus hung there between two criminals. Around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed and said, You saved other people. Why can't you save yourself? Forgive them, Father, said Jesus. When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and said, It is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. One of Jesus' followers, a man named Joseph, put Jesus' body in a brand new tomb. He rolled a huge stone in front of it. A long, sad Friday was over. Wow, Jesus loved us so much that he died for us. That is amazing. Because he took the weight of our sin, we are washed clean. Do you know what that looks like? Let's take a look together. This is you and me. This is the sin that separates you and I from Jesus. And this is our savior. The Bible tells us that we all sin and do the wrong thing sometimes. I definitely do. And I'm so glad that I have Jesus to take the weight of that for me, to forgive my sins so that I can live forever with him in heaven. Let's look at what sin looks like in our lives. Whew. Oh man, that is some dirty water. That's when I wasn't nice to my sister. That's when I didn't listen to my teacher. Oh. Let's see what it looks like when we have Jesus in our lives. Oh my goodness, look how clean we are now. That is incredible, but Jesus didn't die just for you and me. He died to save the whole world. Man. When Jesus died on that cross, he washed away the sin of everybody. That is incredible. Following Jesus is the best decision I've ever made because I don't do what I want to do now. I can do what Jesus asked me to do. And because he died, I get to live forever with him in heaven, just like you do. And if you think that's good, wait until you see the next part of the story. Sunday morning, some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone, 
and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either, but I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Knowing Jesus is alive really is the best news of all. The angel told Mary and all the people that came to look for him, he is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. That's our memory verse for today. It's Matthew 28, 6. Let's say it all together. Matthew 28, 6. He is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. You guys did an awesome job listening to this story today. I am so proud of you. Take a few minutes with your family to answer these questions to see how much you've learned. Great job. Thank you for joining us today. Let's sing a song together before we go. Come on out, guys. Hey, Brooks. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Megan. Hey, Little Village. Let's sing a song together. Sing a song to the Lord. Go on and lift your voice. Sing a song to the Lord and make a joyful noise. Sing a song to the Lord, go on and lift your voice, la 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 la, and make a joyful noise, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, and make a joyful noise. Sing a song to the Lord, go on and clap your hands, sing a song to the Lord, go stop your feet and dance. Sing a song to the Lord. Go on and clap your hands. La, 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 la. Go stomp your feet and dance. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. God made the whole world to sing. He fills our hearts with all his love so we can Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye.